What's up guys, it's Mantana here. Now, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. I think it's been about two weeks. I'm not too sure, but I've had my final exams on and they're pretty much finished. Um, by the time this is uploaded, I'll probably be doing uh, my final exam. But I've got one more. Um, I've had about six so far. So uh, after I finish this, I'm completely done with school and I'm gonna have a massive break. I'm going on an awesome trip with a bunch of mates. Um, that I may or may not do like a sort of vlog thing for the channel. I, I don't know. It, it might be cool But uh, at the same time it might be weird. So I don't know <laughs> but um, yeah, so there's a lot of good stuff coming up next year Hopefully be starting uni um, You know get a job of course and just basically start life So I'm pretty keen for that but the thing that I am most keen for is for me to be able to put all my time and effort into my YouTube channel. It's something that I've never really been able to do in the past, but now I can. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've got a bunch of good stuff coming. I'm not going to spoil too much. I've got a few series that I'm going to be starting, and I am going to finish them because now that I have the time, I can play through the entire game. So I'll be recording those and only uploading them once I've finished the entire game. So that'll be cool. There's a few coming, like I said, and I'm not going to spoil them for you. But on the note of what is going on today, you might notice that I've been playing Halo. This is what the recording is, Halo, of course, but it looks a little bit different, um, and you might not be able to put your finger on it, because I know that I wouldn't be able to, and some of you may know that I don't have an Xbox, and I probably never will, so how am I actually playing this? Well, you actually probably do know because you've read the title of the video, so shame on me. But this is Halo on PC. Now, the thing about this is, it's a little bit weird. I'll explain to you the backstory. Of, uh, of this game, Halo Online, or in this case, it's sort of Halo 3. Um, so Halo Online is a Russian exclusive, free-to-play first-person shooter based in the Halo universe. Now the interesting thing is, it's exclusive to Russia, and only Russia. You have to use a VPN if you want to play it, but it gets better, because this game runs on a modified version of the Halo 3 engine, for PC, which means it uses all the physics and stuff from Halo 3, but it's been retextured with Halo 4 textures and upscaled for the PC, as you can see with all the guns and stuff and the sprinting and everything. Obviously, that wasn't in Halo 3, so that's been added as features from Halo 4. And the great thing about this game is it's constantly being updated and features being added because it's a free to play game. But again, you might be asking yourself, well, hang on, Mantena. I'm pretty sure you're not from Australia. Uh, oh god, I am actually from Australia. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that you're not from Russia. And you're right, I'm not from Russia, I'm from Australia, as I just spoiled, if you didn't know that. So, you might be wondering how I'm playing it. There's a lot of wandering going on here, but a bunch of modders managed to crack the code, download the files, and reverse engineer them so that they could modify them to essentially make their own game. And that's what you're seeing here. It is complete without the uh, without any of the freemium features from the pre to oh god from the free to play version. So in other words, there's no transactions, there's no gear unlocks, there's no XP, all that sort of stuff. It's just your stock first person shooter. Now, some people might think that's a little bit bland at first, but it's important to remember that this is a work in progress. This is very early on, like it functions great as a game, but in terms of adding people as friends, uh, getting XP, leveling up, customizing your gear, it's all very bare bones. And there is a bit of lag, there is only peer-to-peer -peer servers, because like I said, the fact that they've uh, <laughs> that they've gone and modified this game means it's completely void of Microsoft servers, which is interesting. So you never have to worry about being banned by Microsoft or the servers ever being taken offline. So you can always play this. There's nothing Microsoft can do about this. They've got several download locations for the game, so it's never going to be taken down. And even so, what's going to happen? They've got it downloaded on their computers. I've got it downloaded on my computer. If it gets taken off the server, people can upload it. People can change the server. So that's the thing. But at the same time, there's nothing really against what these modders have done. It is a free-to-play game. But at the same time, the code isn't open source. So it's a little bit of a limbo. Microsoft's not very happy about it because people are playing the game and not buying their microtransactions, obviously. Because I believe the reason they made it free-to-play is because in Russia, you know, there's a lot of piracy and things like that. Um, so a free-to-play game was much better for them because they don't need to pirate it. They can 
they can just play the free-to-play one, but if they want some of the cool stuff, then they have to pay some money. There's no way to pirate that, to be honest. Well, unless, of course, you're a modder and you go and do this. So it's really cool. It works 100%. It's legit. There's no surveys or any of the crap like that. I'll put a download link in the description. It's super easy to set up. It's like a 2.1 gig file that you download from Mega, and then you, you know, copy this Dorito, uh, your file, and then it just patches it and you can play it. Admittedly, the most amount of people that I saw online at one time was 60 players, which isn't too much. But the fact that the community is that big for a game that is so obscure is pretty impressive. And considering it's only going to grow from there, especially if people spread it, then it's just going to be amazing. The developers are constantly adding new features. They're improving the server browser, the latency. There's going to be new textures and stuff for some of the guns. I know because there's different variants, you saw there that was a red SMG. And this uh, Magnum that I have, that's red as well. They do more damage. So there's different variants of each of the guns that give you more accuracy and stuff like that, which haven't been in previous Halo games. But some of them aren't textured correctly. Like, I think the, the range the range version of the DMR, it doesn't have a proper texture, so that's all going to be getting fixed, you know, over time I assume they're going to add different texture op oh god, options <laughs> um, there's options for custom maps, and mods, everything, it's crazy, and you know what, it plays just as well as Halo on the console providing you use a keyboard and mouse, which brings me to talk a little bit about the controller, you can use a controller, and you've got all your standard options, but it's a little bit obscure at this point to uh, change your settings. It took me a little while to figure this out. And even so, there is no option to toggle sprint. Now, I don't know if you've ever, uh, if you've ever played a game using a controller without toggle sprint, but you will quickly find out that it is very painful to do. So I've had to resort to using a keyboard and mouse, and you'll notice that I'm not very good at this as well, because I haven't got a chance to play Halo like this, especially such an advanced version. I was really big on Halo 2, and that's actually why I started looking for this. I just found it this morning, because um, I thought, you know, I really feel like playing Halo 2. I've been watching some Halo 5, and Halo 2 was what brought me into multiplayer games on PC. But they shut down the servers for games for Windows Live. So I thought, you know what, damn, I really want Halo 3 for PC. And then, sure enough, stumble upon this. So the full game is rumoured to be coming to the West, which would be amazing. But something tells me Microsoft's not going to do that. But that doesn't really matter too much, because you've got this version, for now at least, and even for the future. So it's up to you to determine if the full version comes out, which one you prefer to play. But for now, you don't really have much choice. You can either play this or buy an Xbox and play the Xbox version. And to be honest, this functions perfectly. I'm loving this. I got a few of my friends to play it. We even played on LAN using a VPN that we set up. So you can do that. I believe there's a dedicated server. I'm not quite sure how to set it up. But by dedicated, I mean, of course, someone hosts it on their computer. It's not like at Microsoft servers or anything like that. So we might see those implemented, but it's just going to get bigger. And it's so good. It includes all the modes, you know, you capture the flag. Uh, you've got Slayer, Team Slayer, there's Juggernaut, King of the Hill, it's all great. And the maps, the map selection is a little bit low at the moment, I think there's only 8, 8 or 10 maps, but like I said, custom maps are coming, you know, I'm sure more maps will be implemented later, and whatever gets implemented with the full game will be implemented with this as well. Sorta of don't know how, but yeah, it'll happen anyway. So I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys give this a download and consider playing it. Leave me a comment and let me know if you've been playing it, because I'd love to play it with some of you guys. Because it's a really good game and it's really fun to play. You know, it's, it's Halo. There's not really too much else to it. And of course the graphics are stunning as you can see. I've recorded it in 1080p, 60fps at 50,000 kilobits per second. Didn't actually use all of those and the frame rate drops you see are actually because of the recording. It does run at 60 FPS. Unfortunately, you can't go past 1080p, but you can adjust all sorts of stuff like your FOV, your sensitivity, the usual stuff. 
that isn't normally available in regular Halo. So it's, it's really cool, but I just wanted to show you guys this. It's something that I wanted to pop in there before I release my next episode of my RuneScape playthrough. Just to explain to you guys, you know, what's been going on, why I haven't uploaded a video. I haven't disappeared, but I have been getting subscribers uh, over the time since I uploaded my last video, so I appreciate that a lot. And for, for those of you that have subscribed in between my RuneScape video, the previous video that I uploaded, and uh, this one now, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subbing. And, you know, I hope you enjoy the content. I hope you enjoyed this video with some of this gameplay. Make sure to hit that download link and download the game because who knows how long the files are going to be up. And quite frankly, you sort of want to play this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.